Hello everyone, we're at the Poly Tunnel today and we had some storms last week and for some unknown reason it managed to blow the back out of the Poly Tunnel. So I've got a replacement, I've moved almost everything out uh, and what I'll do is I'm going to untie this and put the replacement back on. Okay, so this is the new uh, cover on. It's not as good as the old one. The old one was extra longer so I could uh, spread it out over here and screw battens into the ground to help secure it. Uh, this one's it's not long enough for that. So I'm going to have to think of something else. Uh, I mean, these are cheap little greenhouses. Um, I don't know whether the polythene's UV stable or whether it gets more brittle as it's exposed to, to sunlight, which is an odd thing for a little greenhouse. But it's a little inexpensive greenhouse. And it, it does work. It, it's... Uh, it's uh, really, really good for delicate plants like peppers and, well, peppers and tomatoes, things like that, maybe cucumbers, aubergines, if you're growing them. I've got it. I'm using these um, pipe fittings to secure it to this wood, wooden base. And these, these are all around. Uh, the, out, the the bottom tier of the greenhouse. Then I've got two large paving slabs on top of the wood to keep that down. And saying that, it's actually moved a couple of times. Um, but it was only last week we had these really, really strong storms that it actually got damaged. I'm going to keep the old one and what will happen with that is that I'll keep that safe somewhere and if this one gets damaged then I'm going to use the old one to make some patches to make this so yeah all I've got to do is tie the, the tabs on the corners to hold it in place and put everything back in again So there you go, greenhouse cover updated.
sun's almost going down now, so it must be time to go home for tea. Uh, this bed has been cleared out. Not quite sure what I'm going to put in here this year. Uh, so we'll wait to see what happens. Uh, this bed is still covered over. Not sure. Well, this is the sort of raised bed I made last year with compost. Um, I'm going to be putting a load of uh, lettuces and things like that, beetroots, uh, spinach, stuff like that in there. Hopefully that will come out good. Uh, this bed here, a few spring onions in it. I'm actually going to take the spring onions out of here and put them in uh, the bed where I've got some brassicas in, some chard, uh, up the top. Um, they're okay, I'll, I'll take some of the bigger ones out, we'll have them. But this is all going to be for carrots. There's a bed up that end of the plot which I'm going to be using. I'm going to make a raised bed, it's only a small one. So it'll be ideal for spring onions. I'll put down some cardboard, uh, some uh, uh, manure, and then some compost, and uh, I'll put the spring onions in there. This one here, uh, I've just taken out the last of the leeks, except for that one there that I've missed. Um, it's a couple of little lettuces there, but never came much. Over in that tub there, there's all the strawberries that I took out of... Uh, the bed that's got the gooseberries in. So I'm going to be putting those strawberries in here when I get a chance. This is the rhubarb doing well. It's doing really, really well. As you see, I've manured this and mulched it over. I'm going to mulch over all the fruit beds this year. Um, to cut down on the watering and cut down on the weeding. This year, this is going to be for carrots again this year. Some really, really nice carrots out here last year. Uh, I've got a planter I've made at home which could possibly go here more on that later uh, I've just put in this net in here because I've put in some sweet peas down at the bottom they're looking a bit ragged but we'll see how they go these were the sweet peas that were in the root trainer that was blown out the back through the polytunnel this is the root trainer they were in this was full of compost and it was actually when the the little polytunnel ripped at the back the wind either sucked uh, this out or blew it out somehow or don't ask me why, how it managed it but that's what happened there these are a disappointment these are my broad beans these are the worst broad beans ever I'm Seriously thinking about just ripping out these broad beans and not having broad beans this year because this is a waste of space. Uh, yeah, the weather the, usually they survive all the winter, but this year, no chance. Garlics and onions still doing their thing, they're okay. Um, do with a little bit of weeding and that but I really do have to get the edging down now so it make it easier to cut this without damaging anything. This is the bed where I'm going to put my spring onions. You can just see I've got some chard in there and some pat choy and it's, it's all getting eaten by slugs. It's netted so that's got to be slug damage and I've got the seed as well so if there's that with me, I've never seen slugs attack onions. Never seen slug damage on onions. So this is why I'm going to redo this and use it for spring onions. What I'll do is I'll make another little bed this size somewhere else on the plot that I can use this net on because I shouldn't need to net onions. Uh, this is brassica bed which uh, just needs tidying up, there's not many weeds in there. Um, two minds whether to put brassicas in there again this year. We'll see what happens. I, I've, I have used this for pars uh, parsnips in the past and had good results. So I don't know, I might use it for parsnips. Daffodils are just about dying off now. But uh, yeah, quite nice when they're here, but. Yeah, that time of year they're all dying off. 
So this is the blueberries and they're all looking rather nice, all coming out in flowers. So uh yeah I thought there'd be more leaves on the tree than before the flowers come out but well there you go. This is the raspberry bed. You can just see the greens of the raspberries coming through. This is this year's growth. Uh, and this is the oh, gooseberries. So uh, this is still to be mulched over, but I've got plenty of hay to do it. It's all been weeded. Strawberries have been taken out. Uh, I'm going to be doing my first earlies, and I'm going to sink in bags, potato bags. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to sink the bags into here uh, for a couple of reasons. Just in case we get any frost, the bag sunk in here will insulate it from the frost and also uh, it's got all the potential to retain a lot of water in this compost which will get, get pulled into the bag through like, I don't know, capillary action or something. That's the, the old cover, rip cover, that's been taken off. Uh, that's a snail. These are a couple of tulips I took out from down where the sweet peas are. They're not doing too well. I'll give them a water before I go. Uh, new polar tunnel cover. Not as good as the original. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, the, the original I was able to fasten down and put wooden battens uh, down on, on top of it to secure it like that so the, the polythene came to about here these went down screwed into the wood kept everything down we'll see what happens we'll probably get a storm at Easter and it'll go flying away this area is still a bit of a mess uh, who knows maybe at Easter well let's not kid myself this time of year, too busy putting things in the ground to deal with uh, ground maintenance. The whole area could do with uh, strimming. But, uh, yeah, that's another job I don't want to do at the moment. Uh, the black cover over there, that's where all the potato pots are going to be sunk into. Uh, that'll be an Easter job as well. Um, so, yeah, that's the state of the plot at the moment. We're in mid-March, two weeks before. Easter so there yeah well I'm gonna go home now get something to do oh let me show you the leaks before I've pulled them all out so these are all the leaks varying sizes some decent sorry about that dropped the phone some decent leaks there some small ones couple no bigger than a fat spring onion but yeah that's the leaks uh, I will clean this area right um, it's still my intention to make a a cage here to, to so I can grow sweet corn without the just snicking it all uh, but there you go that's the plot as it stands at the moment uh, I'm gonna go now but I'll, I'll see you all later bye